And we're back. Let's just... Alright, let's... Let's wrap up this... Let's wrap up this day and... Move on for, Move on with our... Move on with our lives. Yes. Let's move on with our lives and get the f*** off this planet. <laughs> Alright. And... Here we go. The yellow onion is right here all this... All along. What the f***? Another onion? This one's a different colour from the first one we found. Will it also move on its own after we transport it? Yes. Let's get all of those on there. Let's get... Alright, let's make our way to the onion so that the Pikmin don't... was it? So that the red Pikmin don't pick up the bow board. There we go. And we now have... We're, what is it? I mean, we have yellow Pikmin, but we can now cultivate yellow Pikmin. So yeah, that's the difference with this game. You can you can have any Pikmin at any point of the game, but you can't cultivate Pikmin with majority vote until you've found that onion in the overworld. Well, in in general, it sucked up the other onion. That was unexpected. You don't think that's going to be a problem, do you? Unbelievable! The onions fused, and now there's just one with two colors. Wait, do you think it will be able to propagate Pikmin of both types now? Yes. Actually, what is it? What is There we go. Okay, now let's get all this Pikmin and we are going to go up there and deal with that fucker. So, and of course, all the sheer grubs gather around. The, there's a new kid in town. Hey. There we go. So I'm... So yeah, I'm just going to... Collect as much raw material as I can before the day... Is expended. Joy-Con drift or... To priority there. That's that. I'm gonna wait till the... There we go. Move base. Where the fuck they are. I think I can do it with just 20 reds. Yeah, I think I can handle this bowl bob. Then I can just get... There we go. And it is almost... It is almost time to head on home. Oh, look at the time. Would you look at the time? An important part of any rescue mission is making sure you make sh your way. For making sure you make sure your way back. Making sure you make your way back to the base before it gets dark. 
outlined by this circle. According to Cap... ...to this area around the base. It seems the creatures get even more aggressive at night. If any Pikmin are separated in the, from the squad now, you better collect them now. I don't think I'll be able to get the treasure right in the horizon over there. So... But I'll clear the pathway, I suppose. Actually, the never mind, there was some raw material here. I'll get that. I think the timers... Yep, there we go. I don't think I'll be able to... Yeah, I'm not risking it here. Yeah, let's just send the day now. <laughs> so... What is it? I... It's probably... That is probably the... Slowest? Well, no. No, actually, it's not the slow. It, it's just very smidge slow. I didn't get the raw material from the back where that gold watch was, uh, and I didn't get the treasure that I was about to get before the timer went off. But otherwise, that was some um, good. Otherwise, I'd say that was a decent day too, based on my runs in the demo. <laughs> so yeah, that is the end of day two. And we return, return triumphantly. Exploration results, day two, we rescued Russ and Schnauz. And we got a bunch of a bunch of trinkets and we almost hit the cap from the uh, demo so yeah we got the director of destiny the refreshing goo the lesser mock bottom which is, I, 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 that's that's a good name i love that name deceptive snack illumination goo dusty bed daughter of the earth the ss chocolate cookie of nibbled circles perforated raft Satellite shield, the double dragon eyed scroll, <laughs> double, <laughs> was it Bibby and Jammy? Just, just, was it, I would, that would have been crazy if they had, the, the, if they actually got the license to have double dragon on the binoc binoculars there. But I know, but knowing that Nintendo couldn't be at, was it, knowing that ten, Nintendo didn't want to we do the license from Pikmin 2 for the Switch port and they had to retexture all the old copyrighted stuff. I don't blame them to be honest. Temporal, temporal mechanism and from out of 18 creatures we got 40 Sparklium. No losses across the board and we now have more. And we now have 51 red, 37 yellow, and 10 ice. <laughs> Do you want one or two ice? <laughs> you want one or two ice in your drink? No, just give me, just give me ice. Just gives you an entire iceberg onto the glass. You pour the, you pour the drink from the top. Welcome back, Russ. Welcome back, Russ. Glad to see you made it out in one piece. Yeah, 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 of course, Captain. I had no doubts the emergency escape system I developed would function perfectly. That may be, 
but it would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. One would expect an emergency escape device to be a bit more intuitive to use in the event of an emergency. Anyhow, now that you're back, Russ, can you tell us if you come across any of these spear mints like this before we found you? <laughs> oh, Colin, Colin, Colin. Not only did I see him, I've already completed very much further research on this material in my sleep. I discovered that when heated, the rocks become soft and malleable. That, we, we, we already know that. And can be shaped into any form you desire. Its, it's base properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. It's quite versatile raw material indeed. Cool. Cool doesn't even begin to describe it. This is this is the one, the ultimate biomass I've been searching for my entire career. <laughs> your entire career's like your entire life's search just so happens to be on the planet that we we're, were trying to rescue someone on. Oh, the wonders of this of of PNF 44. I'm currently upgrading the 3D printers so that we can put this miracle material to use as soon as you bring it to the SS Beagle. And now you can 3D print all the syringes from Risk of Rain 2 as much as you need. It will be crucial to my work in the lab and any other building needs that might arise. What a spectacular update, Russ. I knew bringing, I knew bringing along material scientists would be key to our success. Starting tomorrow, I'm expecting our rescue operations to go even more smoothly than usual, now that you're here. We should be able to find our rescue officers more quickly as well. Speaking of which, we've also discovered a few castaways besides our own rescue officers and Captain Olimar. There may be more. What should we do about them, Captain? There's only one thing we can do. Rescue them, no matter how many there are out there. And once they're here, I'm confident you'll take good care of them, Colin. Copy that, Captain. Another task for the to-do list. Oh. Thank you for volunteer indirectly volunteer Thank you for indirectly volunteering, Colin. Rescue all castaways. Oh, we've already read that. I've almost got enough to make it to, I think it was called the Blossoming Arcadia, which is the next zone once we've unlocked all the sparkling that is to offer. Uh, oh wow, it's... This part's not gone on for too long. Wait, is it just me or did Ochi go through a growth spurt overnight? That's actually quite typical for his breed. It's a sign that he's now fully grown and qualified more rigorous for more vigorous acti activity. <laughs> They're going to kill me, aren't they? <laughs> the Pikmin are sure are playful today. Yes, they appear to be letting their guard down now that Ochi's coming into his own. I'm just glad to see they're getting along. Right. Another benefit of Ochi being fully grown is that he can now build up his pub drive when while completing missions. And with regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that will be useful for everyday rescue operations. <laughs> Look at Russ over there just... Look at Russ over there, he's just... Wow. Fascinating. Fascinating growth spurt. <laughs> from the looks of it... From the looks of it, Ochi is ready to as ever to fill up that pup drive. Oh. Alright officers, to your stations please. Copy that. I now call this strategy meeting to order, but you just dismissed us. Oh, I'm calling another one. First things first, Russ, please update us on the improvements being made to the SS Beagle. Yeah, <laughs> it would be my absolute pleasure, Captain Shepard. Because they're done. What? The SS Beagle is now has the ability to transform any raw material collected in this field into all-purpose clay. With this functionality, we should be able to easily build on location. Excellent. 
Of course, I'm not quite sure what we'll be building, but good work nonetheless. One last thing. Bring me warm material and I'll be able to whip up exciting new gear and items for you in the lab. I have no doubt they'll be useful to you while you're out while you're out in the field. Sounds like we're not only collecting treasure now, but raw material too. And don't forget about our missing rescue officers. We're counting on you to find them, Cedric and Ochi. By the way, come talk to me later when you have a minute. I would like to discuss Ochi's training. I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. <laughs> and I'll call by another strategy meeting. <laughs> no. So yeah, that is the end of end of the morning briefings. Don't forget, I need more raw materials. Schnauz would like to speak with you. Alright, let me just So one thing that I found very interesting is that Pellet posies will remain only remain the color of the pigment that uh, oh, that have an onion already installed that can be what was I saying? So yeah, the pellet the pellets will now only remain the colors of pigment that are out in the field if they have an onion installed if their onion is installed, merged together. And I would say this is the best way. Considering that all Pikmin are now available in this game, it makes it it makes it less of a hassle waiting for what eight eight or so different cycles for pellets to get to the correct colour that you want. It's a nice quality of life feature that I'm glad that they went with. So yeah, this is Schnauz. Thank you so much for rescuing me the other day. I confess I'm really quite flustered. I only come here because I heard there were treasures to be found. Getting stuck here was not on my agenda. Oh, my apologies. I'm Schnauz. A noted appraiser of treasures. I often compile my findings in a little slog for posterity's sake. Few treasures. Ah, you're interested in treasure, are you? I'd like I'd love for you to take a gander at my pride and joy, my treasure catalogue. Alas, I lost all my data while I was well, lost myself. If you don't mind, would you allow me to appraise any treasures you happen to collect? If you do, I shall compile the treasure data into a neatly edited treasure catalogue. Of course, I'll offer you a reward for for doing me this favour. All I require is that you keep me posted when you find something. Collect 50 treasures. The most I could collect in the demo was 33. So, yeah, this is... This is basically the treasure hoard from Pigment 2 comes with its notes, if in this case it comes for notes from Schnauz. But I'm interested in whether or not any additional castaways will have notes in the future. <laughs> Look at Ochi. Got that Labrador energy right there, just wide-eyed, happy to see people. Do drop by any time you'd like to per per peruse the treasure catalogue. So yeah, that is Schnauzer's your treasure hoard logger. Uh, let's talk to Shepard first. As soon as you two are ready, let's get your training started. I like to train. All right, this time to com commence training. The journey will be long and arduous, but I have no doubt you two can handle it. Then I'll watch his skills. Five out of how much? This rescue pup training curriculum has been passed down through many generations. If Ochi's pup drive has built up sufficiently, he can train and learn new skills without a problem. As for what skills to learn and when to learn them, that depends on the rescue approach you two want to take. 
go the buff path if you want to carry heavy things, or go the chomp path if you're taking the on creatures if you're priority. But keep the proper dandori, dandori practices in mind, and think carefully about what will help you carry out your duties efficiently. Well, for one thing, to carry out my duties efficiently, I would need command level 2. So, command level 2, use a skill to tell your partner to go to your base or call call them to you. It also enables go here on the radar map. It, so, it takes a feature from Pikmin 3 where it's, you can have your captains go towards, or oh, you can direct them to auto walk to any d destination on the map that you've dis that you've that uh, you've gone to so far, which is a nice touch. And we're gonna get buff level two. Good boy. So I could finish the Sun Speckled Terrace in one the next day, but I'm gonna spend. That I'm going to spend day four there as well, because there is something in particular that requires me to have buff level two to, in order to get, in order to get something in particular. You put everything you had in that training. What a good boy, Ochi. Yes, you are. Now I have a special treat for you, Scrammy Bone. Going forward, any free time you complete training, you'll get a Scrammy Bone. Give it to Ochi as a reward for me. Oh, this seems like an opportune time to teach you how to use items. From Y, home from Y, actions. Open your pack with left analog stick. You'll find all your items there. Just So just pick the one that you want to use. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself again. I'm Russ, the resident brains of the Rescue Corps operation. I use the raw materials you find, and my handmade components... I almost said handsome again. <laughs> I, s I once said handsome on Queen of Verdant's stream. <laughs> and it's like, how the fuck did I get handsome out of hand mode? Handmade components to create all kinds of items and gear for you to use in the field. Visit the lab. I can proudly state that all my inventions have been perfectly perfected. You could say I have it down to a science! In exchange for raw material, I provide you with new gear. Your contributions make it possible to continue my important work. I may run out of components from time to time. If that happens, just visit the lab the next day after I've restocked. Acquire all gear from the lab. So, got the survey drone, the charging horn, treasure gauge, anti-electric fire, and... Sh and one for and one for Ochi. Oh. <laughs> so, for one thing, we're getting the survey drone. So, uh, we're gonna get the charging horn, which allows us to do a charge attack. That is very OP. <laughs> And we're going to get the treasure gauge so that we don't have to spend a lot of time faffing about trying to figure out where treasure is. So Scrammy Bone. It's a superfood that replenishes Ochi's HP. Give him lots of these and even more belly rubs. It's the least you can do. Emergency kit. So basically prevents you from... KO. This life saving auto re kit auto replenishes your HP. You should always keep one equipped when you can fo when then you can focus on rescuing. And the pick pick carrot. These hand pick ca carrots ha these hand pick carrots have a paralyzing effect when eating. Perfect for stopping and baiting creatures. Toss one of these crunchies to a creature and watch this bitter flare for paralyze them from head to toe or tail. There are plenty of pickpick carrots in the pantry, but some are duds. A dud. The weight and way too bitter to be considered edible. <laughs> By us, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Just feed them to Ochi. No. But the more you feed to the creatures, the longer they'll stay out of your way. 
it's basically a, basically it's a decoy. It seems int seems very seems quite interesting. I'm gonna get two more, and I'm gonna get ten pick pick carrots, and I have I have plenty of scrappy bones, so I I'm I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save up. I'm gonna hold off on that. Yeah, <laughs> I'd love to take this opportunity to teach you how to use my scientific masterpiece, the charging horn. It's actually actually quite simple. Just press X to blow the horn once, and order your Pikmin to charge. If you press X once, only a selected Pikmin or Ochi will charge. But keep pressing X, and the entire squad charges. As you can see, this horn is perfect for attacks or transporting objects. You could even call it Dundoddy Dynamite. So, so what's it? Okay. So let me just check. We're all set over here. The SS Beagle can take off whenever you're ready. Let me just check. I'm just so relieved that you got... Okay. This is the same. Ready to explore. Which area would you like to explore? Alright. Alright, let's go back to the Sun Speckled Terrace now. Okay. I like how even s the civilians are just happy to see you off on your next expedition. And now we return to the Sun Speckled Terrace. We've got through a third of the third of the uh, whole map now, and I think we'll get through a good bunch of it in the next two days, and then we can move on to actually post demo stuff. So yeah, we're now in the Sun Speckled Terrace. And we begin a day. Come in, come in over. As we discussed earlier, Ochi has grown a bit, so this morning I decided to drill him on his jump skill. Ochi should be able to move around more easily now, even with you and the Pikmin on board. Walk up close to Ochi and press Y to mount, then again to dismount. Press X when you want Ochi to use jump. You should have no problem clearing small ledges, unless it hits ledges that are designed to keep me out of certain places. Hmm. If you keep holding, if you keep holding X after you jump, you can build up his power. Hit something with a rush to launch the Pikmin on his back and have them land on the, your target. Using jump will give you access to more search give you access to more search areas, and a good rush can be game-changing moving in a battle. And now we begin our day. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna end the session here. So that will be all for today's part and, today and session. Uh, we will continue day three in the Sun Speckled Terrace next session. Cheers for those that have tuned in and I shall see you next time. Take care.